So just to give you some context, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of my favorite subscribers. He was vouching for me like three years ago when he saw my G4 video. So this is the WhatsApp message he left for me. It's pretty hilarious. And this was actually uh, yesterday on the 25th of April. He left this for me. Hey, what's up there? <laughs> what's up there, Jace? Hey, man. Sorry, man. I haven't responded to you. <laughs> I, sorry, man. I, I, I was drinking a little bit. and uh, Oh, I can tell. I just, to, <laughs> I just wanted to say hi. Hey, man, hopefully we'll be able to talk on the phone. Sorry, man. I'm a bit drunk. I mean, I'm a bit... Um, Pissed? Uh, it's, a, it's a dump truck. Dump truck coming through. <laughs> you, what, you mean a land well? There's, there's a dump. There's a truck coming through. So I just wanted to say hi. Man, we got to talk on the phone, bro. Hey, good. Uh, uh, congratulations on your so on your subway, on your uh, <laughs> subscription. <laughs> congratulations on your subscription, bro. Now, just like Richard Hammond in the Grand Tour, and that self-indulgence is all over and done with, for now, but there'll be plenty more of that where that came from, in a future video, let's talk about the ongoing furor that is Stellar Blade. Jason King. A man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. Feeling sad? Then watch Jason King, your happy pill. Now, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, you will not believe this story today. Obviously, my headline, my thumbnail would have given it away, but this is truly deplorable. So before I get to the meat and bones of the actual story, uh, just a little precursor from yesterday. So if you don't know, the some of the outfits for Eve have been censored. So in one instance, while she's wearing a thigh-high swimsuit, for some strange reason now, that swimsuit has been slightly altered so there isn't so much thigh showing. Because again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a biological male or female enjoying an attractive female in the video game, apparently that's wrong. No. No. I really do feel so sorry for Shift Up, but I will get to that point later on. So Grums, who, if you don't know about it now, even if you follow him and if you type his name in, he doesn't come up straight away. It's like he's being shadow banned by Twitter. You know, the platform of free speech where it's reasonably said and done. So this is so bizarre. But of course, I mentioned that for a specific reason because it is kind of an omen. So here we are. Here's an example where the lovely Eve, she has this normal swimsuit in the game and this is the centered version where they've got to do tighten up her bodice if you like you know you know those bodices that the really hot women in the 80s used to wear with stockings and suspenders you know it's kind of reminiscent of that but now it's all tied up so you can't see her boobies anymore they've been pushed in because god forbid she's a biological woman ladies and gentlemen it is such god level tears of funny i don't know whether to laugh or to cry now by the way i've got a question for you guys and girls out there PlayStation 5, if you've already got a Stellar Blade, does the actual console, does it force you to accept the patched update when you put your physical disc 
into the console or can you just continue to play the game without uh, worrying about forced changes because I know the Xbox does this as well they won't let you play a certain video game until you accept all the changes so does PlayStation 5 implement a similar tool? So learning the law over on Twitter, aka Manga Lawyer, has showed an example of censorship with blood in an 18 rated mature game. As somebody pointed out on Twitter, are they trying to downgrade the rating to teen? I mean, it was never going to be a teen game to begin with. We knew that from last year. But of course now look at this. So on the left hand side, past the duchy, you have uh, a lot of blood splatter, no problem. But on the right hand side, it's been suspiciously reduced. I mean, what is going on there, ladies and gentlemen? So Grums has uh, launched an eight step campaign to get the original version of Stellar Blade fully restored. He shared on next, the plan is to get Stellar Blade censorship removed, the condensed version of the pinned tweet. You contact shift up offices, which I did this morning actually. I've kept it as a very short three paragraph email. Send physical mail because apparently Korea and, and actually the whole of Southeast Asia, Northeast Asia, they respond to physical mail. Apparently that's the more effective way of getting through to them because it carries more weight. Of course, if you get a big truckload of <laughs> airmail coming in from all over the world to your offices in South Korea, yes, that might make a slight bit of a difference. Um, and of course, that's the address. So if you want to write to shift up, the address is right there. She'll highlight that all for you there. He also encourages players to email shift up, which I've done already, and using the hashtag free Stella Blade. And of course, uh, the petition, yes. Now, at the time of recording this, which is 7.48 p.m., it, well, they stated here 18,000 signatures. I can tell you now that is actually approaching 20,000 already, which is pretty amazing. But of course, this talk of censorship makes me laugh by Sony because they had no problem with The Last of Us Part Two, Now, this game shocked me for so many reasons. Not just the fact that you've got Abby as a man looking like a man being rogered by a man in one of the most contrived, forced moments of intercourse I have seen in the game. I, I mean, a lot of people are saying, and even this Reddit poster says, like, why is it in the game? Why do we need it? A lot of this is just filler, but again, I do go along with the theory that Neil Druckmann is pushing homosexuality in video games, and this was his way of doing it, which is so bizarre beyond belief, but in the westernized version, we get this god-awful uncensored one, and on the right-hand side in Japan, it's just an embrace. It's so ridiculous. But of course, you know, that it's fine to have that. And the second point about the Last of Us Part 2, well, Ellie drops the C-bomb. And as far as I know, up to that point, there hasn't been a PlayStation 4 or 3 exclusive where the main character dropped the C-bomb. So again, I felt that was a forced piece of dialogue moments that we didn't actually need. It was amusing, but I don't know why we needed it in the first place. It was so strange. So again, Sony can't tell us that they can, we have to accept these censored versions of certain things. It's an ironclad agreement between Shift Up and Sony that this game was getting released uncentered. Um, as of what Mark Grums has said today, or Mark Kern, I should say, uh, he said he had contacted the developer of Shift Up, who apparently has been in meetings since yesterday. Apparently, hard R is meant to be a, a horrifically racist terminology, which actually, for the longest time, I didn't know what it meant. I just thought it was a reference to something else. I had no idea until recently. So funny that I wouldn't know that, but Western gaming journalists from IGN and Kotaku would know that sort of thing. Hmm, gee, I wonder if they had a, a cultural representative at their headquarters who was there to confirm that. And apparently Crime R, or Crime R, apparently it's also another racist slur. I didn't know that, so there you go. But of course now, what is so annoying about this whole thing, and again, it's some wimpy, soy little cuck boy stuck in their corner who decided to make a tweet 
offering 20 grand to anybody who would care to erase Mark Kern. Can you believe this shit? It is right here. Uh, as Grums has said himself, uh, Grums, of course, is Mark Kern. Now they want to hire Hitman to take me out. What did I tell everybody? They want you dead over video game tweets. I've had four to five calls for violence today alone because I am asking for Stellar Blade to be restored to what was advertised. Um, Grums, if you get these phone calls, do actually record them, get the receipts, try and put it on OBS, try and get them to talk and see what happens because I think that'll be absolutely great evidential audio evidence if you have that on hand. So this is the guy, Town Man, who apparently has now erased their account. Again, that's a, that is a crime itself, isn't it? If you're inciting violence on Twitter, that is a crime and they can trace your IP as well and your home address. 20 grand to anyone that makes this dipshit disappear. Wow. All because Graham says all of Eve's outfits uncensored. This is what was supposed to be. It's true, it is supposed to be that. I mean, I cannot believe. Now, you know what? Part of me and part of this situation feels absolutely surreal beyond belief. It really is like, it's almost a carry on movie, but it isn't the funny kind. Oh, stop messing about. This is just psychotic levels of cringe that I never ever would, I would see in a video game like Stellar Blade. I wonder if Vindictus Defying Fate will also be met with a similar issue. I mean, I mean, if you're a Western gaming journalist, okay, and uh, you want to have a, or maintain a good relationship with Japan or South Korea, don't fuck them off with your rhetorical SJW nonsensical behavior. No one is going to give you the time of day. You're going to sever ties. You're going to destroy relationships. And I, maybe it could be a victory for us at the end of the day. So on that one, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it's, I thought I wouldn't be making a video today. I've been trying to finish off Mass Effect 3, um, which has been a pain in the ass at the moment, but there you go. I mean, what can I say? But it's still a good game. I still prefer number two anyway. But uh, yeah, with regards to Stellar Blade, yeah, as long as I can actually play the physical disc without any alterations, forced alterations from an online patch, then I think I'm good to go anyway. So on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video today, leave a like below, smash that like and subscribe button. And if I were you, and if you were me, you can catch me catching you on the next video. That's it for this program and indeed for this series. But we'll see you soon for more Top Gear on BBC World. <laughs> <laughs>